Uh, hello everybody, I, I come to you from the Harvard campus, from the yard, uh, where I've been spending uh, here at the Kennedy School the past uh, week uh, discussing uh, global trends and global transformation as part of a course called the Workshop in Global Leadership. Uh, and it's been fascinating, it's been a very interesting week because uh, we've been discussing with top experts here, academics and practitioners, the state of the world and the big trends of change in that space. And a couple of themes have emerged, but the big one, the big backdrop is something that I was discussing in a prior video with you guys, which is this idea of the erosion of the liberal order, the risks to the order, uh, this idea that it is collapsing. And by the liberal order, I mean basically international institutions like the UN, NATO, uh, the EU, uh, the idea of liberal democracy, the idea of liberal uh, economics, open markets and others. And, and that threat is coming from two dimensions, at least this is what uh, the lectures here have conveyed to us. And one is extremely uh, clear and it's a structural, it's external, and it's composed by countries like China, which are openly authoritarian and anti-democratic and defend that system, but not just China, also Russia. Uh, uh, so th that idea of the authoritarians around the world and the success of their models being now a guiding light uh, to many other countries around the world. Um, also in that dimension, in that structural dimension, the third thing that we've discussed has been the Middle East and the, the failure of the Arab Spring and of Western interventions in the Middle East, sort of sending the message that uh, liberal democracy uh, can fail and you can backtrack and, and lose the ground that you've covered in places like Egypt, like Syria, even like Saudi Arabia, which is headed in the direction of a ever more authoritarian uh, uh, direction. Um, now, the other uh, vector of threat is domestic. So it's not so much the siege from external sources of the liberal order, but rather an implosion of the order from within. And there, there have been four trends that we've discussed and that are very interesting. Uh, trends and phenomena. One, of course, is Trump and populism in the US and the effect uh, that Trump and his discourse are having on the prestige uh, and the legitimacy of democracy here. Um, and the second is in Europe, of course, and is the European authoritarians. And these are the uh, Orbans and Salvinis of the world and how uh, they are calling into question the liberal order from within Europe. Um, the third force uh, uh, that we've discussed has been immigration. And it's interesting because immigration has been forcing liberal societies to themselves uh, actually test and question their values. So this idea of the tension and the pressure on the Geneva Convention and how we treat refugees has been a, a constant theme uh, in this course. And it, it seems evident, you know, the agreement with Turkey, the extradition agreements uh, and the deportation agreements with other countries sort of being signals that the liberal system and its values are questioned even from within the system now. And one of the drivers is the need to contain immigration for political reasons. Uh, and the fourth and final trend in this domestic dimension has been technology, globalization, and the impact of these trends uh, on the Western middle class, particularly in Europe uh, and in the United States, and the difficulty in governing that change and the change in the jobs market and others. So these forces are producing a populist backlash within the West uh, that is leading to a questioning of that order. So it's been a fascinating week, but uh, full of questions and the backdrop has been this very negative message. And it's incredible that, you know, only a decade and a half ago, we were speaking about the end of history, the idea that every country in the world would become a liberal democracy and an open market. And, you know, this was the end of human evolution. And now liberal democracy and the liberal order seems to be fighting for its survival. Uh, that has been the theme here, and it's been a very interesting week. So um, I say goodbye to you from the heart of the uh, Harvard campus. Bye-bye.